Hey guys, uh, welcome to the LA Auto Show, and with me is someone who's become a friend, Dave Coleman. Hey Dave. How are you doing? You guys are making some big news here with this car. Yep. Uh, it is the brand new Mazda 3, and dude, it is sexy. It's amazing. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful car. So the kind, are unbelievable. Kind of tell me about... Tell you about the car. You, so, know, you know what you know what I need. Yeah, this is a this is an all new platform. So yeah. all of our current cars are what we internally call our sixth generation uh, cars. Yeah. This is our first car on our new small seventh generation platform. Um, it uh, it's going to be a lot quieter. Um, that's been a sort of a criticism of the Mazda Three. Really fun to drive. Yeah. Kind of noisy. Yep. Yeah. Um, quiet, comfortable, more fun to drive. We are not giving up on the front to drive side. Good. Right? Um, it's it's really agile and really neutral. Uh, you get up in the mountains and, and we really work to make the thing sort of carve through the corner naturally and sort of rotate right around the driver. So uh, we want a front wheel drive car to still have a lot of front grip and let the rear slip a little bit yep. so it really points itself into the corner. Did a lot of work to and make sure it does that. And is that harder to do with now, here he goes, drum roll, all wheel drive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I should say it's easier with all wheel drive. Yeah? So, th yeah, this is the first time we've had all wheel drive with the Mazda 3. I know you're going to like that in Colorado. Yeah. Hell um, yeah. We've, we've had a pretty sophisticated all wheel drive system in all of our SUVs, so yep. I active all wheel drive, and it's using all of the sensors that are already in the car for other things to sort of figure out what the road surface is like and, and figure out the right uh, torque split for that surface. Um, so tell me about this. Is it, we, is it front wheel drive biased and goes to rear wheel drive? So basically it's front yeah. wheel drive until it sees that the surface is, is getting slippery and then it will start feeding some to the back um, depending on what inputs you're making and what it's measuring. It's, so it can measure the surface like from the steering effort. You go around a corner and if you're on snow, it, the steering's lighter. Yeah. And the steering system can see how heavy it is and it talks to the elbow drive system and says, hey, this is what kind of surface you're on. And is that, is that your own system? Did you get, did that is our own system. Yeah, so it's Mazda's, it's not some other... Right. Company. Yeah, that's cool. And this is a sort of an evolution of that system. All of that stuff is still happening. Yeah. On top of that, it's it's also tied into the G-Vectoring control system. So GVC, when you turn the wheel, uh, it automatically will reduce power a bit and shift load onto the front tire, so the tire responds more directly. GVC Plus that we just introduced this year, when you're unwinding the wheel, will drag the outside front brake just a hair to help the car straighten out more naturally. We've now tied those systems into the all-wheel drive. So when you've got the all-wheel drive coupled, front rear wheels are, are tied together, the car doesn't want to turn. Because the front rear wheels would have to go different speeds in a turn. Yeah, it's going to crab, speed, right? right, basically, or so try to crab. as you turn the wheel, it decouples so it turns in better uh, while it's doing the, the engine braking thing at the same time. There's a lot and going as on. as you go straightening out, it will over, it'll recouple and kind of overshoot to help pull the car back straight again as well. And then we've also got some more sophisticated uh, modeling in the car in, in the, the software that's deciding how much torque split where it's actually using all the G sensors in the car to, to estimate exactly what load is on each tire dynamically as you're driving around the car's kind of shift, weight shifting around as you drive and so it can shift torque more accurately based on the driving needs not only on the traction needs right so it's not just a traction system it's really a handling system all right so a couple questions um, when I was a kid my mom had a Honda Civic uh -huh. wagon and it was front wheel drive, and then what would happen is if the front wheel slipped, it would go to all wheel drive. Right. And the problem with that was you'd be going around a corner, right? Yeah. And the front wheels would slip, and right. so it would send power to the rear wheels, which had traction. The second they got power, they lost traction. And what it did was it created the situation where the back basically snap over steer. Uh huh. So I take it. So the speed, the, that's why it's so essential that we anticipate the loss of traction rather than react to it. Okay. Right? You, you want that's why we want to look at the steering and, and look at the whether your wipers are on and look at the outside temperature gauge and, and look so it's at the, much more sophisticated look at the, the speed of the front tires and the rear tires because uh, it'll start to slip a little bit the front tires will go a little bit faster as the grip produces we can use all that stuff to figure out uh, if the traction is low and then distribute the torque appropriately so you don't have that slip and recovery and overshoot that you had in that old car so what percentage of torque can go front to rear and left to right uh, we don't have any left to right control okay so it's um, front to rear it's front to rear um, the terminology on that is is, yeah. is confusing so typically it'll go 100 percent front in light cruise on a on a solid surface previously it would only go 98 percent front one of the things we've done is we've improved the efficiency by letting it go 100 percent front and doing some other tricks to to solve the NVH problems that that would normally cause um 
it can go all the way to fully locked. Yep. Now, who you talk to uh, determines what that torque split actually means. Some people will call that 50-50 if they're locked, right? Yep. Um, if you're at a ski resort that has one of those fancy heated driveways made out of brick, yep. and you're pulling out of that brick onto ice, yep. which happens, yep. uh, and the torque, torque coupling is locked, those front tires on ice are not getting any torque. The rear tires are getting all of it. So locking can be in a dynamic situation where the loads are changing. It can be 100% rear. Depending but we on don't it. really call it right, that. Yeah. But it's not really 50-50 either. Yeah. Right? So it... It, it, it can go fully unlocked to fully locked and anywhere in between. You all figure right. out what that means. All right. This, you, you're, you're tired. <laughs> I'm tired. This is the last question of the day for you. Now, I test drove an Audi new Quattro system, right? The yeah. Audi Quattro Ultra. And Audi engineers say that it can actually anticipate yeah. um, the fact that the car needs to have the torque sent to the rear wheels. Can this car do the same? Yeah, I think they came up. They started saying that about a year or two yeah, after yeah. we did. Okay, all right, yeah. never mind. So, so you were there first. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for explaining the car's all-wheel drive system. Dude, yeah. as always, Absolutely. it's getting late in the show. Thank you very much, and I really appreciate the chance to learn about how this car's all-wheel drive system works. I'm going to give them a quick tour around the car so they see all it. Right, enjoy. Yeah, thank you, dude. Take care. And there you have it, guys. There's a new Mazda 3 now with very interesting all-wheel drive, and I think this car is absolutely sexy, especially the rear three-quarter. Right here. Look, look at that line. Look how beautiful that looks. And I gotta tell you, I'm a sucker for candy apple red, and this color defines candy apple red. When you see this car going down the road in this red, it's just, it just pops. I mean, you can't help but noticing it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, all wheel drive. Is this one all wheel drive? We don't, don't even know. Look yeah, we don't even. Well, you can't tell. Yeah, so it's not higher, right? You walked past the badge, right? There was no badge. I don't no, think right, I see the badge. But I was right. filming. It, was front <laughs> right. it doesn't have a badge. It's front row. All right, so there's no, no height difference. No. All right. They look exactly the same. Well, there you have it, guys. Take care. See you next time. Ciao.